I'm from Brovary, a small town near the Kiev. Before war, I was a mechanical engineer and an aspiring writer. Now I am serving in armed force of Ukraine. My position is loader of mortar. And here is my text. Uh, it's called An Icon. An Icon. Miss, would you like to buy an icon? The saleswoman asks. The saleswoman keeps her eyes on the girl, her gaze unwavering as she seems she identifies a possible customer from the male's crowd. A young, pale, bewildered girl. It looks like she has some cash in her. This is Saint Nicholas. It's a very powerful icon for fulfillment of desires, marriage, peace, wealth, big luck, she continues. I look up uh, at the icon. It's a white bearded old man dressed in golden clothes, holding a big book on his left hand inside a 12 by 20 inches glass frame. Is and blinking and sadly looks me in the eyes. It feel like he's embarrassed by his golden brocade clothes, by his high embroidered with silver and pearls claw book, by his inlaid with a diamond encrusted big book, which says absolutely different things. It talks about other treasure. He is ashamed and embarrassed, and so am I. One thousand fifth hundred grimnas. It's a quite ins inexpensive an, an icon consecrated in Kiev Pecher's Laura. Saleswoman would not slow down. I keep noticing. Her smell is white and yellow teased. In Kiev, fucking shit, Moscow patriarchated Pecher's Laura. Thank you. I already have one. My answer is dry and short. My icon is small. My icon is just a faded uh, four by six inch photo. His bird is black and curvy. He is dressed in a light sported military uniform and he has a replica machine gun in his hands. My knight Nicholas, Saint Nicholas. He has never been inside the church. He has never known any prayer, neither on behalf nor for a repose, except two, more action than words. Love for me, hate for them. The Russians. The occupiers. Mirosia was born from the first prayer. Now she is in Poland with his grandma, and God. Second prayer, post-mortem, crossed to me when he was killed by the Russian in uh, 2016. I am buying chicken, rice, cabbage, and carrots. I am coming back home. Every volunteer, real, useful, not for social media admiration volunteer, except infinite tests from close and distant troops have one additional, principally not so important, but everyday task. Do not croak from hunger and lack of sleep. But I cannot croak. It is strictly unacceptable. Not now. One task, another task. One seat of rice, another seat, a box, one more box, one more tracks of boxes. My apartment is no longer an apartment, but a storehouse where between boxes, packs of socks, tourniquets, collimators, night vision googles, cardans, sleeping bags, sleeping pads, and other stuff, ob oblivious or unexpected, due to list, another list, many lists, so many lists, verbal or writing, sending by email or text messages, infinite lists of infinite needs, lurks all my belongings, table, bed, wardrobe, and two ficuses. They have grown so big, Nick's present, a long time ago. Look here, babe, it's our job for today. George text me and send files. I opened an the attached photos. Oh, it's my favorite. A cracked Z-labeled tank, bullet scared Russian armored vehicle, and Russian. Dead Russians, part of dead Russians, so many parts, it should be more. Every occupier should be exploded in parts. Motherfuckers, fucking compost. So lovely, kick their ass, honey, and send me new pics, I text him back. As you wish, my queen, he answers. He has begun to write to me more often. Who knows why? Obliviously why? I can, tell, I can tell him anything. What should I say? Maybe that I have an icon with his deceased sergeant? 
take care and send me more, I text him back. Maybe someday, who knows when, maybe when Tor will send me the last photo and I will pack my last box, maybe when. What do you say, Nick? Nick keeps silence. Nick doesn't judge. He will not judge. Maybe someday I will remember the first frame. Maybe. But now I'm looking at the photos again, smiling, making my fifth coffee cup for today and starting to assemble my new box due to the list of needs. Calimators, two. Night vision goggles, one. Socks, size L, 20 pairs. Cigarettes, three blocks. Paracetamols, 40 tablets. Anti-flu, 20 sachets. Glasses, plus five, one. Prayer book, one.